is a said this Ramakrishna used to go at the top of the temple garden house and say, Oh my children, come to me. I'm fed up of talking to the worldly people. My ears are burning with the talk of their problems. I wish to talk to somebody who understands spirituality. And he was looking for youngsters, full-bodied, full, you know, blooded youngsters to pour out this marvelous message and become the carriers of his message. Because he had now acquired the wealth, the spiritual wealth the modern world requires. And he needed carriers who would take this message into the greater world. So he was pulling them, saying, come here my children. So the story continues. Next we find, you see, look, how do they come? Ramchandra Dutt, who became a disciple, his servant boy, become one of, the, one of the masters, one of the main disciples. A monastic disciple. Next appears on the scene, somebody called Rakhal. Now this Rakhal also is linked up with Ramchandra Dutt, he is related to them and he is married into their family. He is already married at the age of 19 or something. And this Rakhal is introduced to Ramakrishna by the family that he is married into. His in-laws take him there. The last place to take the boy was Ramakrishna. They took him there. So Rakhal was taken and Ramakrishna again. You see, the moment he sees a youngster, he knows his caliber. He straight away measures where he has come from, what he is all about. Even before Rakhal appeared on the scene, one day when Ramakrishna, you see, for him, Mother Goddess was alive. She would interact with him, come and talk to him. One day was sitting, this is like as if you are sitting like us. And the Mother Goddess appeared and she had a little, little baby child in her, little baby in her hand. And she put the little baby in Ramakrishna's lap and said, this is your son. And Ramakrishna shuddered. He said, Mother, I am a celibate. What happened? <laughs> Not supposed to have children. And the mother got a smile, spiritual son, not a physical one. <laughs> she was equal to the task, a spiritual son, not a physical one. Don't worry, my boy, you still be a celibate. And then when Rakhal arrived, Ramakrishna said, ah, that is my spiritual son. He was expecting. And in deep meditation, you see this Ramakrishna could, could see, when he saw a character, he could see his character, his background, where does he come from and where he was going to go. He could see it very clearly. So when Rakhal came, he, he disclosed to somebody else that in deep meditation I saw Krishna as a young baby, almost like a baby, a young child, with anklets, playing with another little boy with anklets, and they were both dancing together in full kind of tremendous, with tremendous love. Two young boys dancing, Krishna and a cowherd boy, a cowherd boy, singing and dancing to like little children of two or three year old with anklets, singing and you know, making the anklet sound go jump, 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 and they were dancing together. I saw this. And when I saw Rakhal, you know what Rakhal means actually, literally? A cowherd boy. It is very strange that the names these people come with, in a way, reflect their character. And Rakhal was aptly named. And you'll soon see when I talk about the third disciple of Swami Vivekananda, you'll see how apt the name is. It's just by chance. They seem to have the right name. So Rakhal means a coward boy. So he arrives. You see, when he sees Ramakrishna, he behaves as if... You see, when, you, when a son meets the father, there is no formality. He doesn't, don't do bow down and all that. You don't do that normally. Maybe on festival season or something. Not routinely, I mean, you don't keep diving at his feet, hopefully not. So this Rakhal behaves in this kind of obnoxious manner, you know, kind of ir ir irreverential manner with Ramakrishna. He doesn't treat him as something special, as if he's just like ordinary, you know. And he sometimes would jump and sit on his lap, this huge, this 19-year-old boy jumping on his lap, ouch, you jump on his, as if he's his little baby son. He would behave, misbehave with Ramakrishna. But then, you see, the flow of spirituality began to be kind of en en enlightened in, in, in this boy. Sometimes he would be in a tremendous, just like all of us, all youngsters, he's married and he doesn't like being married, but he's married. And Ramakrishna said, bring your wife here. And he looked at the wife, this is Ramakrishna, we are fellow. He looks at the wife and says, ah, don't worry, Rakhal, this is Vidya Maya. She will let you off. And there are some Avidya Maya will put golden you know, earrings and take you to the Mayfields, <laughs> drag you there. This one will not. This is Vidya Maya. They will release you. She will help you. She will release you. She won't bind you. 
you got the right wife, don't worry too much. This Rakhal was allowed by his in-laws to continue to associate with Sri Ram Krishna. You see, they, were, they know what's going to happen, that their daughter is going to pay a price, because this boy is going to leave and join Ram Krishna, become a monk in days to come. And yet, the mother-in-law helped the process. Now, we wish all of us had mother-in-laws like that. <laughs> she was helping <laughs> to let the boy off. So, Rakhal began to associate with Ram Krishna more and more. His nature was that of a devotee. He's, he's devout, he's a bhakta. Remember, his background is Krishna. So, he loves Krishna, he loves Mother Goddess, he loves to sing and dance. And this is his mannerism, pure bhakta. And Ram Krishna encourages him, pulls him closer and closer to him. And in days to come, this Rakhal becomes the first president of the Ramakrishna order. One day Ramakrishna looked at him and said, this boy is capable of ruling a kingdom. And since that day, all the other disciples decided to call him Raja. You are king. And that is how he was addressed. He was called Raja by even Swami Vivekananda. And this is how the second personality enters the story of Sri Ramakrishna.